All right, guys, we are back today with the Remington 700 <clears throat> in 30 out six. We're gonna do the same test that we did with this thing the last time, which is gonna be to shoot six different SKUs of factory ammo through it and just see how they compare. Unfortunately, I don't remember the exact order that I shot them in the last time, so we're just gonna go through. It's gonna be all the same ammo. I just can't remember exactly which one I shot first to last, but we're gonna start with the Hornady 178 grain ELDX. This rifle started off as a stock Remington 700 ADL, so it came in a synthetic plastic stock. It was pretty much touching, the stock was touching the barrel pretty much all the way through the barrel channel or most of it enough to where it was, it was pretty bad and it, it could use an upgrade. So anyway, we put it into an MDT chassis. We changed the scope rail for or, uh, the scope base from a two piece base to a single one piece base. I believe it's a loophole base. And we kept same scope. We um, took everything apart, cleaned it all, cleaned the, the inside of the barrel, cleaned all the, the mating surfaces between all the locking components and everything, torqued it all down, loctited it, and shot the first test and everything. But um, anyway, now we are going to go ahead and do the shooting after we took it out of the stock and put it into the chassis with the same ammo. So that is where we are right now. So we got some Hornady, Barnes, Sierra, Federal, and Nosler. And we're starting with the Hornady. I did a rough sight in. I just shot three shots, trying to get it as close to the center as possible. So it is somewhat sighted in. Of course, it doesn't really make any sense because we're gonna be uh, shooting six different kinds of ammo. So it's not gonna be perfectly sighted in for any of them. But anyway, we should be pretty darn close to centered with this one. Um, I'm gonna shoot the first group probably at this top left diamond to avoid killing my GoPro, which I just got this Christmas. So it's brand new and I don't want it to die. So we're gonna go ahead and take this first few shots here. We're gonna do three shot groups again and just see how it goes. I forgot to mention, we also changed the trigger. Um, the trigger was doing some weird stuff that I was not a fan of. So we went ahead and changed it out for a Timney. Well, the group starting out suck pretty bad. So, or at least this one does. All right, so Hornady not doing great. For now, we are going to move on to the next group here, which is going to be with the Federal 165 grain ballistic tip, which the bullet is made by Nosler. But we will shoot three of these and see how they do. All right, we are moving on to the Federal 165 grain Nosler ballistic tips. I'm gonna shoot for this uh, top of the center diamond here. That feels awful. Well, it definitely grouped a lot better. I like to see that. I can also tell it's starting to cool off out here, which I'm really glad because it's kind of warm earlier and that was a welcome thing coming out of winter, but when you're shooting, it's kind of nice when you don't have to wait as long for the barrel to cool off. So I'm glad that it's starting to cool down just a little bit. All right, next one we are going to shoot is going to be the Barnes 180 grain TTSX. Classic blue tip. Really curious to see how this one's gonna shoot, seeing that it shot good last time in the factory stock. It shot okay, it didn't shoot horrible for what I'm expecting to see today. Of course, this is all on a freshly clean barrel too, so this thing wasn't exactly uh, fouled up before we started shooting. 
which is what the first three shots were supposed to be because <laughs> I uh, I hadn't shot it until today. And I used those shots that I sighted it in with to foul it in and hoping that was enough. <laughs> but we're gonna probably hand load for this after we finish doing the factory ammo testing. This is just kind of an easy way to get, um, easy way for me to get some baseline groups with the gun before and after. And uh, also to, uh, <clears throat> sorry for all the noise I'm making. Also to see if anything, any one particular bullet shoots better than another because I don't know what this gun's gonna like, if it will like anything. And I also wanted to see if the same ammo in the factory configuration would shoot dramatically different once you put the chassis on there. And again, like I said, I know some people, it's like really controversial whether or not you need a glass bed actions and chassis. I normally don't do it, um, maybe because I'm lazy ultimately, but this one, I think this one was, it probably would have been a good idea. I just really didn't feel like doing it, <laughs> but I also wanted to see how it shot without being glass bedded, so we shall see. All right, moving on to the Sierra 165 grain tipped Game King or Game Changer. It says both on the box, ironically. But uh, anyway, we are going to shoot at the left side of the center diamond. Let's see what happens. Talk about getting that sucker close to your face. of impact doesn't seem to be different all that much so that's a plus they all kind of look like they're just staying inside of a or relatively close to the initial zero so that's kind of nice all right we're gonna go for the dead center here on the center diamond we are now shooting the 165 grain nozzler loaded nozzler 165 grain partition bullet so nozzler loads the ammo it's our trophy grade ammo and the projectile is their 165 partition. It's actually, the bolts come back and hit in my safety glass. <laughs> Kind of having a hard time seeing where that third shot went on that one, but it didn't look like it was a horrible group. I just, I can't tell. I think it was right next to the second one, but it's, it's hard for me to see. When you get spoiled with scopes that you can see gnats landing on the target, then these do get a little more challenging. I, it's almost kind of refreshing actually going back to a lower powered scope. I know that sounds weird, but it's, you get so, like, especially when you're reloading, you get into the minutia of every little thing and you want every little thing to be, you know, as, as you know, all your groups to be as tight as possible. You want everything to be as consistent as possible. You want to be able to see the target when you're shooting. You want to be able to put them all in one hole. You know, it's every little thing becomes something that you hyper-focus on. If you, you know, I don't know. Some people aren't obsessed like others, which, I don't know, I guess I'm, I'm better than some, but in the sense that I don't focus so much on it that I get to the point where I don't enjoy it anymore. But I have those moments, you know, where it's like, I don't even really want to reload anymore because I'm just, I just want to go shooting, but I have to reload if I want to go shooting. And sometimes you just don't enjoy the process. You just want to go out and play. And uh, this can become tedious after a while, especially when it's your full-time job and then it's also your side job. <laughs> so try to, just enjoy it, don't don't make a job out of it. But anyway, the point is, um, it is kind of nice to just come back to something simple. Um, when that was kind of where your grassroots lay, it's, it's nice to be able to come back to that every once in a while. So the next thing that we're gonna be shooting is the Nosler Trophy Grade 165 grain AccuBond with that classic white tip. 
tip. I'm going to be shooting at the right side of the center diamond. I can't see where that second one went at all. Huh. I don't know. Well, apparently it wasn't a good group. I don't even know where that second shot went, but I saw the third one and that tells me everything I need to know. All I know is I didn't hit the GoPro, which is all that matters. So, that concludes our hopefully short video. Um, I'm going to try to make probably a three-parter out of this, maybe a four-parter. I may glass bed this. I don't know. I'm I'm still debating on it. I just, I'm lazy. I don't want to do it, but I, I think I probably should. I think the gun would benefit a little bit, take some of the, the stress off of the action. But we shall see. But anyway, that uh, that's going to be all the ammo that we shoot through this gun today. And I really, really appreciate you guys watching. Um, I don't necessarily have a whole lot of ways for you to support the channel. I don't ask for anything financially. I just ask that you guys, if you do like it genuinely, if you really like it, subscribe and, and share it and um, just help expose this channel a little bit more because the more people that are watching, the more I can push myself to actually get the cameras out whenever I do this stuff. And I'm just trying to share info. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you want to learn more, check out the links in the description for the website and the other places that we post things like this. So you guys stay risen, take care, be safe, and we will hopefully see you on the next one.